Hello, I'm Drew Mackley with Emerson's Machinery Health Business Unit, uh, Product Line Manager for Machinery Health Portables and Software. Today I'm going to talk to you about Emerson's new CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. If you're familiar with Emerson's long 25 plus year history with uh, Machinery Health Analyzers, uh, you'll notice that this one, the CSI 2140, is much thinner, uh, lighter, uh, actually a total reduction in volume and so it makes it easier to carry. Um, the screen is much larger. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice when I turn this unit on is how bright, crisp, and brilliant uh, this screen is. And so you'll be able to see this screen not only in uh, indoors uh, or darker areas, but also in outdoor bright sunlight, very visible. Uh, so you can monitor all of your outdoor equipment as well. Um, so the screen is seven and a half inches diagonal. Uh, it is also a touch screen, and so in order to just navigate through these function keys, we still have the keys that you can use if you need to, but you can also navigate with the touch screen. makes it much faster to navigate through the menus and go from machine to machine to point to point. Um, and the touch screen also works with a glove, so if you require those for personal protective equipment in your facility or if it's you know, outdoors and it's cold, then it'll work just fine with a glove. Um, you'll notice also, if you've used our CSI 2130 in the past, that the user interface is also very familiar. Uh, you should be able to pick this CSI 2140 up and use it immediately if you've used a CSI 2130 in the past. Just a few things to point out. You might have noticed it has a built-in stand on the back of the unit and makes it very easy and convenient to set down either on your desk, maybe while you're doing some analysis on the unit uh, at your desk, or in the field if you needed to set it down to do a balance job or record a long transient job, do a, uh, a set your probes on the machine. So it's, uh, it's convenient not only for office but in-field use as well. The top of the unit, you'll notice, has two connections for accelerometer connections. Uh, this is a four-channel instrument and so we could connect up to four sensors. I only have one triaxial accelerometer connected currently, but we could connect up to four individual single axis accelerometers onto this unit as well. And then I have the volts TAC connector over here. So not only can I have four simultaneous channels uh, being recorded at the same time, but also a, also a fifth input coming in from the TAC to get phase. And so that's very important for analysis techniques and various tests that you might run. But we can also connect up four volts signals as well. And where would you use volt signals? You're connecting up to a protection panel such as the CSI 6500 to monitor sleeve bearings. And so four accelerometer signals for monitoring rolling element bearings, four volt signals for monitoring sleeve bearings, and so it covers uh, the gambit of your rotating equipment. Now all of the connections to the CSI 2140 are on the top of the instrument as you can see here. Uh, power, wired Ethernet communications, and USB 2.0 communications for communicating, uploading and downloading routes and data with the AMS Machinery Manager software. And all of this is sealed up with this rubber plug to make an IP65 sealed connection. On this side, we have both Wi-Fi, wireless Ethernet, that you can communicate your data or routes, upload and download between this CSI 2140 and the AMS Machinery Manager software. So you could actually be in the field, finish your route collection, wirelessly send it back to the database. Someone else could be analyzing it while you continue on with another route collection. And so really maximizing the efficiency of collection and analysis in simultaneous. The CSI 2140 also has Bluetooth communications for accessories such as Bluetooth wireless headphones. So while you're collecting the data you can certainly see the spectrum and waveform on the screen to indicate where the energy is coming from and the vibration is coming from and listen to it at the same time wirelessly. It adds another dimension to the analysis. The analyzer being so thin fits in your hand well We've also redesigned the carry strap. You'll notice that uh, there are 
four locations on the unit here that you can place the carry strap. It's easily attached and detached. Push the button in and pull the strap out and put it back in and release. And so just a few seconds to attach or detach the strap. It's ambidextrous, so if you prefer to have it up here and this one on the other side down here, then you can do that as well. And it carries very well against your body. If you're climbing ladders or going upstairs, then it lays flat against your body. and It's not hanging out to get caught or obstructed on something. The four channels that I mentioned is very convenient, uh, obviously for doing advanced testing, um, like bump tests or ODS modal or four channel transient recordings on four sleep bearings, but also for just routine data collection. This is Emerson's patented uh, integral magnet triaxial accelerometer. It actually has three sensors in one casing here. So I can get all three orthogonal measurements, horizontal, vertical, axial, with one push of the button on a four channel CSI 2140. You notice that there's a keyway in between the flat rail magnets and also my mounting pad has a key. And so it keeps the user from attaching it incorrectly. Easily attaches to the machine just as I showed you and with one push of the button, we would collect all of the measurements, all three measurements of that triaxial accelerometer. And so you can see here that it is acquiring all three readings simultaneously. And if we had a tachometer set up, then we would have phase as well. Some of the advantages of using Emerson's patented integral magnet triaxial accelerometer is its ease of use by just being able to magnetically place it onto the machine and then also the speed of collection. I just go from bearing to bearing without having to move to any other locations. I'll tell you about these three buttons on the top of the CSI 2140. The first one is a backlit key button that you could toggle on and off if you get in dark environments in your plant and you need to backlight all of these keys peripheral to the unit, uh, even the power button at the top, then you could press that button and they all light up and are very visible in very dark, even completely dark environments. The next button that we see here is the um, backlight button and it toggles through the different backlight levels from low to medium to high to auto with the A in the center. Auto actually employs the use of a light sensor that we have on the CSI 2140. So if you go from dark ambient environments to light, you know, outdoors and bright sunlight, then it will crank up the backlight so you can see it out in bright sunlight. You come back into a darker environment and it will detect that and it will lower the backlight so it's not blinding you. The third button on the top here is the question mark, the symbol for help. Uh, any button on the unit, can you can get onboard help. It's almost like a, a user's manual on the unit. If you get in the field and you're not sure what one of these buttons may do, then you could press the question mark and press any button. And then an explanation of what that function or button does comes up. So I mentioned the simultaneous four channel capability of the CSI 2140 and one accessory that aids us in getting those signals into the analyzer is this four channel input adapter. Now this easily attaches around the back of the unit and you can see that it's got uh, two sides to it and with BNC, standard BNC connections, easy to twist on and off uh, BNC cables. And so one side is for monitoring rolling element bearings. And this has four acceleration or accelerometer inputs uh, for monitoring those rolling element bearings. If you're walking up and want to connect up to a, say, a protection panel from a CSI 6500 monitoring system to monitor uh, sleeve bearing machines, now you've got on the other side of the unit four channel volts inputs that you could monitor up to four sleeve bearings or 
uh, put two of the connections 90 degrees apart and monitor two sleep bearings and get live dual orbits on the CSI 2140. So to connect this adapter to the CSI 2140, it's actually very simple. It uses the same attachment principles as the strap, whereas the pin goes in the holes on the side of the unit. And so it really just comes around the back and lines up with the feet and clicks in. To detach the unit, you got these tabs, you just squeeze and peel apart and it drops right off. An additional enhancement to the CSI 2140 is that it's using the latest lithium ion battery technology. The battery life is 10 plus hours uh, and we wanted to make sure you could cover a full shift with that at least. Now if you need more than that, then the battery is easily removed and you can see that it's a fully encased battery, much like you would see in a laptop, even with the battery indicator button and lights here to show how much charge is in this battery pack. Now you could have a spare battery on an external charger over here that you just easily slide in, have one on charge, put the, the spare one into your unit and off you go. Unlimited battery, much like a cordless drill.